What's up, YouTube? Angry Jackalope here. I'm here with Tim from Maxpedition. We're going to go ahead and talk about a drastic change, at least as far as I'm concerned, from what I'm used to seeing with Maxpedition products. So I've got the man here. I'm going to ask him some questions, and we'll see what went into the thinking of this new direction. So, Tim, thank you thank for you, having thank me. Thank you for stopping I, by. I appreciate I, it. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, it's like uh, any time I get to come and hang out with you, is like a vacation for me. I'm a big Maxpedition fanboy, have been forever. But um, let's go ahead and start talking about this because uh, I didn't really know what to expect. And leading up to the show, you guys started releasing product information and stuff. And I watched all the videos, kind of like, you know, somebody wanting to watch a movie or something. Like, Ooh, what's coming out, right? And uh, I saw it and I paused. I got to be honest with you. At first, I was kind of like, what is this? Is this Maxpedition? But then I saw. I saw all the telltale pieces, the beautiful pieces that I had become accustomed to in the AGR line, but there were some cosmetic things that made me pause and said, wow, what, what direction are we going in now exactly. in Maxpedition? Yeah, so um, just a little bit of background. I started the company in 2003. Our first uh, line of products were uh, a purely uh, tactical, uh, military-oriented product, and um, thousand denier nylon fabric throughout. Uh, molly webbing all over the place so that's in this day and age that's kind of the traditional traditional look yeah uh, in 2016 which was uh, like three years ago uh, at SHOT Show we introduced the AGR line which is advanced gear research which is what uh, Rob was talking about uh, that line uh, basically took uh, everything we learned from the previous what we call the legacy line and we improved every material improved construction methods developed custom components and custom uh, materials. We started using uh, laser cut, uh, our, our laser cut atlas mm -hmm. system. Mm -hmm. So that became line number two. And last year we introduced line number three. So line number three is the Entity Series. Uh, it's our line of covert concealed carry uh, backpacks and bags. So the uh, background of why we uh, developed Entity is really sort of to round out the line because we had we had Legacy, we had AGR. We needed a line that sort of rounded things out. Uh, and we had so many customers asking us, you know, I want a tactical bag that I can carry my firearm inside or I want all the functionality, but I don't want to look tactical. I want to look, I want to be able to blend in. I want to look civilian, uh, but have all the functions on the inside. So that's really how the entity came about. It's really customer, customer, Customers asking us, many, many, many customers asking us for this, and um, you know we developed a bag that has no molly on the outside. Mm -hmm. It's a different fabric. Yep. It's a kind of a more of a what we call heathered fabric, mm -hmm. which is basically two different kinds kinds of fiber woven together. So it gives kind of this um, color, mottled color. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So this is our third line. So if you ever look at our website or if you lo ever look at our catalogs, you'll see that we sort of formulate it as a triangle. Uh, um, the entity being one now one prong of the the three prongs of that triangle. I get it. I get it. You're straight Illuminati now. I get it. You're the perfect triangle. So you got your legacy. You've got your AGR, and now you've got this entity. Ent entity. Entity. Yes. And the, the entity, the word entity is spelled E-N-T-I-T-Y, but sort of the way that came about is. We started by calling this line non-tactical tactical. tactical. Mm. Non-tactical tactical. The first letters are N T ah. T. Ah. N T T. And we got thought, it. Okay, we have A G R. Now we're gonna have an N T T. Right. And then when you said it out loud, when we said it out loud. We realized, hey, that's entity. It's entity. I get it. it. Sounds kind of cool. Yeah, you know? I like it. And now that you've explained it to me, it makes more sense to me. It's like the total global world domination thing. Right. That's why I made the Illuminati joke, right? right? Triangle and everything else. So that's great. So I see you did take some of the stuff from AGR and you brought it over into here. So we've got the zip holes. We've got this, the seatbelt material. These are all the things that I absolutely adored and still do about the uh, AGR line. But I did see you got some magnetic flaps. Exactly. And then uh, uh, some of the other things. So if you want to grab one of the bags, we can actually get close with this camera and look at some of the sure. interior. So I think yeah. it was, uh, there was a shoulder bag. Yep. Maybe, it was it this guy? Or 
There was one on the inside has like a, a clasping system yeah. that is like kind of squared. Yeah, yeah. So, so actually all of our bags have that. Oh, okay. That's what we call our drawbridge system. So here, let's see if, if we can you, get uh, this guy. Yeah, so actually. Or is there one down here? A better example would okay. be. Uh, here, let me grab a backpack. Okay. So basically like right here. Yeah, like yeah, guys, yeah, right? yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So all of our packs, the, the backpacks, the crossbodies, yep. uh, we have some uh, sling bags. They all have this system. And the, re the, the reasoning for this is on the main compartments, we have, they're, it's fully open. Right. So it opens all the way for easy access. Right. The downside of that is that, let's say you have something heavy and it flops open, everything drops out. Right. Which is why we created this drawbridge system. So basically the drawbridge uh, system. I think I see hooks, already. Hooks into here. Yep. And it clasped closed. And I like how it clasps too, the way you have to squeeze it right. to so uh, disengage sides. it. Yeah. So now, even if you have this fully unzipped, it's not. It doesn't. Fall apart. It doesn't completely fall out. Right. So you have the option of engaging these, and then it opens partially. Right. If you disengage it, then it opens all the way. Yeah, see that, now was, it opens a, that all the was, way. was a trick part right so now there it all, too. Now it opens all the way. Yep. But now you got these guys hanging here. So right. what do you do with these? Well, we actually made a sleeve here, so you can actually tuck these in and completely out of the way. If you're not using these, they mm -hmm. are completely out of the way. Not um, not dangling or right. not snagging on anything. Snagging on anything and being a problem or a nuisance. Exactly. Yep. See, it's that level of thought that goes into these processes of building this that make me a big fan. Right. So like the still, the honeycomb, the, all right, of that's that. That's the gossamer mesh. That's the yep. mesh that has the hollow, the like holographic stuff on the inside too. Right. Yep. So you can see through it, but it's also very strong because yep. they're not holes. They're actually the fibers actually come all the way through. Yep. All of our entity packs have a on the front flap. There is a loop field. Yep. We make um, very several different styles of these accessories that you can put inside. Yep and it helps you organize, organize all your stuff exactly. and you can kind of customize it to your liking. Exactly. Or you could do like I do and just use this as a big patch panel. Yep. <laughs> so with, uh, with the Entity series, uh, this pack that we're looking at, that's the Entity 35. Okay. Which is the now the largest uh, Entity backpack that we make. Uh, it has an internal frame with an right. aluminum stay. Right. So you can contour it to fit uh, your backpack or your back. Mm -hmm. It has these uh, lifter straps on the shoulder strap, which allows you to contour the shoulder strap. Mm. And then you can roll this up. Oh, yeah, I see that right yeah, there. The way. Yep. And it comes with a removable padded waist belt. Okay. Here. And on each side, there's a zipper pocket right at hip level for your Oh, nice, nice. Really, I like that a lot. Really convenient? Yes. So, yeah, the. Um, and then it also, the other thing that I saw were these zips here. So if you needed to, uh, you had a rolling luggage with a handle, right. some of these bags come with this that slots down on top of it. So behind the CCW compartment, there's another sleeve here. Yep. Yep. This is where you would put your uh, rolling luggage. Right, in. right. And then that way, if you're like tired or whatever, you're doing a lot of traveling, you right. just have the one thing to pull. Exactly. Outstanding. Yep. So now that we've talked, you got legacy, HER, and entity. So, who specifically do you think Entity Line appeals to specifically? Like, what what demographical region do you think? I mean, we we you know we say it's for covert operators or mm -hmm. for prepared citizens. So, covert operators and prepared citizens who want to be unnoticed. Right. So basically, gray man, gray man, gray man style. Yeah, yeah, gray man. You know, anyone who wants to, you know, have all of the max expedition functionalities that you've got you've been used to for the last 15 years on the inside but on the outside it does not look like a tactical bag or does not give anyone the hint that you're into guns or right it may be a gun owner right you're completely um, incognito i guess so one thing i will comment so that you you will uh, kind of appreciate this too i i showed my wife the line and everything and she was tickled she was like "Ooh." I would want that. And so that was the first time any of my gear, she actually looked at and said, I'd rock that. Cool. So if you're looking at a female demographic, I think these are color neutral enough 
that it would lend well, and I think that you know that would open it up as uh, as another group of people who may not have looked at Maxpedition traditionally, okay. especially from legacy side. Now, for me personally, I think anybody that was uh, I always looked at AGR line as like Battlestar Galactica, because to me it was like this next gen, right. like super high tech, right, right. super cool. Right, and when I would show my friends and stuff the different things like the the lining, the seatbelts, the, the the honeycomb on the inside, things of that nature, they were always like, "Hey, that's pretty cool." Because whenever you talk price point on certain things, now you have to sit there and kind of justify, right? right? Whereas my wife, if she says, "Hey, I'm buying a Louis Vuitton bag as an example," and she's like, "I'm dropping twelve hundred dollars," I'm like, "Well, what does that bag do for you?" What do you mean? I'm like, "Okay, what are the features?" She's like, "What do you mean? It's a Louis Vuitton, right?" So now, when in that same vein, you could almost say, well, Maxpedition equates to excellence, right? Right. And then when somebody challenges me, I say, well, sit down. Let me show you why right. I think it's worth the price that it is. Okay. And so, you know, that's, uh, that's kind of a cool thing. So I, I do like this. At first, I was kind of on a fence. I wasn't quite sure what to think of it. I wasn't, it wasn't like, hmm, because me, as a person as YouTube, I was like, well, now I got nowhere to put my patches because there's like no patch panel on the outside or anything else. But now as I sit and I look at it, I'm like, well, you know what? You're not phasing out the AGR line, which is one of the things I was terrified, to be honest with you. I was going to kind of plead the case of the AGR. I was like, look, Tim, don't get rid of AGR. That, that needs to be here. So, yeah, so, as I, so as I mentioned, the, the triangle, yes. the legacy line, yes. the AGR line, right. entity line, all equally important. You know, pillars of Maxpedition. Now they're for different different purposes, different yes. functionality, different look, yes. different types of clientele. Now, that being said, I'm gonna put you on the spot. Are you gonna do any continued development in regard in regards to AGR? Because as far as legacy, I'm pretty sure legacy just means legacy. You guys aren't gonna go back and do anything legacy because that's kind of a step backwards, right? Where AGR, because it's advanced gear research, right. that kind of leaves that door open for sure. you to continue to innovate in that in that arena. Yeah. So, so um, you know, I I know that there are. Uh, I mean, for for me, there are three distinct lines. Right. So um, I haven't brought any of the laser cut stuff to the legacy line. I haven't brought the Molly webbing to the AGR line. Right. To me, there's three distinct separate aesthetics. Yes. And I, I like to keep it that way. Good. I know there are other manufacturers that will put a little bit of webbing here and then a little bit of laser cut right. here. To me, that's like, it's neither fish nor fat. Right, right. You know? But as far as in the AGR specific segmentation, right. do you have any more designs coming yes. down the line? Good. AGR, so we like to separate our product launches by line. So ah. at SHOT Show, we're launching everything with the entity line. Rather than having a little bit of entity here, yes. a little bit of AGR here, okay. this is very uniform. Got you, got you, okay. got you. For good. fall season, which was last season, we came out with a Rift Blade and the Rift Point right. backpacks, right. which were the larger and smaller version of our best-selling yes. AGR Rift. Yes, Blade. yes. So I covet those. You can expect that <laughs> for the next product launch in the fall, uh, it's going to be AGR. Good. So There's going to be another uh, another wave of AGR, and I can also tell you that there's some really cool accessories coming down the pipeline. Nice. So. Um, so yeah, awesome. We, and then it, that's it, all, that's it, all I needed. Yep, that's all I needed. So yeah, like I like, like this, yep. but I love AGR. Right. There's going to be AGR. You know, like it's very different. It very, every, you know, everybody's very different. Some yes. people really like AGR. Yes. Some people won't move from legacy. They just right. want legacy. They hate everything else. Right. And there are other people who are just really enamored with it, with entity. So. So that being said, if there is still a install base and demand on legacy side. Is there plans on any new products there? Uh, well, for Legacy, we haven't introduced anything new for a few years. We've made right. incremental improvements on right. what we already have. Right. Um, but you know, who knows? It's like a. So we'll take that as a maybe. To me, philosophically, it would be a step backwards. Yeah, but, that's what I was thinking. But then you see, you see, there are a lot of people doing retro stuff, so it could yeah. be. A, you know? Well, you know, the 80s, 80s is cool again, you know. Yeah, so I mean, <laughs> you know, maybe in terms of a business decision, you know, we can make some products I could sell. Right. Yeah, but philosophically, you know, I have, I have, I would have to get over that hump. Right. You know, to, That's to, what, because because even, even the, the termage myself. of legacy, right, doing something in that regard would feel like, oh, we're doing legacy stuff, right? right? Yeah, so I get what you're saying. Okay, well, 
uh, I know you're a busy man. You got a ton of people clamoring to check your stuff out. I, I'm happy you squeezed me in as always. It's, it's, uh, I'm honored and humbled that you would let me uh, get up here and interview you and talk about your stuff. Like I said, I'm a fanboy. Love your guys' stuff. Well, totally. Thank you. And, and you know, to the viewers, uh, thank you very much for stopping by. And if you need more information about Maxpedition, please check our website, maxpedition.com. Thank That's you. Right. All right. Thanks, guys. If you like it, like it, please subscribe. Tell your friends far and wide. Until next time, please be good to yourself, good to each other. Go out, live life to the fullest. Ride the bus till the wheels fall off. Have some adventures. Get some scars. Tell some stories and all that jazz. See ya.